See, preparation for prelims involves two things especially. One is the test. The how do you attempt for the test, like the main test? How do you prepare for the mains, uh, the prelims exam? And how do you attempt? How do you utilize this time for the finals? These are the two things that you have to concentrate upon. I advise you that the first attempt is always the best attempt. Go for it as like gunshot. Prepare well and go for the exam. Keeping general category students in mind because I've been uh, seeing them. You know that 32 years, 31 is the last stage for them. So that is why keeping them in mind. I'm just telling you, do not waste your attempts unnecessarily. One, your fundamentals, your basics, foundation of the preparation are kind of has to be established by now. Yes. Okay, great. How do I transition from this basic foundation to some advanced level now? How do I evolve my preparation? Because certainly you did. All right, get. We'll start. Where are you joining from, by the way, Bhavan? <laughs> Sir, as usual, obviously it's from Labasna. Uh, okay. So it's my room. <laughs> it's in Happy Valley. It's one of the best. How hostel. has been? How has been the experience? Wonderful, sir. But the only negative thing for, especially for the South Indians and the the Indians from the tropical region, is the temperature here. It's around two degrees now, uh, so it's very very cold. <laughs> That's the only thing that we are worried about. But uh, other than that, it's very very. Oh, so, like, does the experience matches what you dreamt of when you were preparing? Is it matching? Is it going beyond? Uh, like... I don't want to dramatize this, but yeah. Uh, so it doesn't uh, certainly it doesn't, sir, because uh, so many we we think like you know this uh, is this this that it's just a training institute for civil services for an Indian administrative service and just host a foundation course. That's all. Uh, nothing great about Labasna. Nothing great about anything to that matter because it's all the services that come into the a, a come into an institution and then start learning. That's all. It's like a college, any other yeah. college. I think last week I was on call with Amir. I think he was your roommate. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. He was telling me, and he was telling me, he was telling me how he crafted his mains because he scored eight thirty six, which is like a huge number, and how yeah. it was a different approach from what most of the people did. Right. So cool. I like what I'm going to do is like for the benefit of the people who are two thirty two fifty people, all the aspirants, I'm going to ask you a bunch of questions about yes, his mains, C set, especially right, and sure, sure. the context of next six months because I think that's the thing, right? Uh, yeah. Like. Okay, we'll start from here. Like, how would you say, like, on an average, how many months of preparation is really required? If I'm a beginner, right? You know, like, how many months of an average preparation, months of preparation is required for a serious, successful attempt? Like, like after this point, you just can't attempt next year. Like, what is that like according to you? Oh, sir, it's very difficult. It again depends upon number of factors. Like, for example, I'm a doctor. I had very good things, and I mean, uh, I was very good at writing answers. So I had to concentrate on prelims. And then some might be good at very good at quality economy. So depends upon multiple factors. But if you ask me one uh, good number, it should be around uh, maybe ten to twelve months. Like a solid one year of preparation is a very good uh, buffer for this exam, sir. Yes. Yeah, I'm asking because a lot of people on this, you know, this session also they might be split in two. You know, like six months are left. Should I attempt for twenty twenty four or should I go for twenty five? Like what is it? So. Like if I am an aspirant right now, if you had six months, what is like looking back in your preparation, what is the approach? Would you go for twenty four or like you know twenty five? Like how is how will you see this? Okay, uh, so if I'm complete beginner that I don't have any idea about this exam, and being from general, like you have not read anything. Beginner. That's what beginner yeah. is like. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So based upon so I haven't read anything. I don't have any like enough idea about UPSC pattern. Maybe the mains and prelims optional. I haven't chosen my optional. I'm very confused about the optional. So based upon the age also, one can so for example, if I'm now I'm twenty seven years. So keeping this in mind, I have five years. So I don't want to waste. I if even if I'm writing every year, uh, so I might get at at most five attempts. So I would definitely go for the attempt. So, because even fifth attempt are getting into the services, sixth attempt are getting into the services. So, I don't think so. UPSC discriminates based upon the attempts, yeah, based yeah. upon the age also. So, I would mm -hmm. definitely go for it. But again, if someone is of twenty one years of age, twenty two years of age, and they are of uh, this situation, they are in this situation. I advise them not to go for this exam because uh, I I would narrate because it may take. Uh, so it it may go sir. It, uh, let us let us uh, speak more than one hour. Also, it's not an issue. So let us uh, keep this session very 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 uh, interactive and also yeah. very useful yeah. for the aspirants. Yeah. So I'll narrate one small story of my friend. Okay, very close friend of mine. Uh, so last last mains he couldn't qualify the mains. Okay, it was his sixth attempt. But he's one of the brilliant guys I've ever met. Uh, he has a lot of knowledge. He has a lot of intuition towards the civil services, and he's very perfect candidate for civil services, even when compared to me. 
because I, I do not have enough knowledge. But the, the thing is, I understood the exam pattern very well. He also understood, but you know, the, many factors work in this exam, sir. Uh, that's a different thing. But you know, for the first two and three attempts of his were very like, you know, it's a kind of a dummy attempts. He just gave, just for giving, the sake of giving, just let us see the paper. Uh, and you know, I did not complete the preparation. Let us see. He has age of around three years left. He is now 28. So three years still left, but attempts are over. So I advise you key the first attempt is always the best attempt. Go for it as like gunshot. Prepare well and go for the exam. If you are 27, 28 years or 26 years, you can definitely go for 2024 exam. But if you are less than 25, be cautious about that because attempts do matter in UPSC because uh, this is small incident I have narrated. I can see the N number of aspirants in the same place. Uh, but like, why do you say that? Is it like because as the number of attempt increases, you have a lot of baggage, like you have like, what like what, what changes with attempts? Like, what do you mean? Yes, sir. No, uh, sir, what I meant to say is, see, because it's, so this uh, regarding, you know, keeping general category students in mind because I've been uh, seeing them, you know, that 32 years, 31 is the last stage for them. So that is why keeping them in mind, I'm just telling key, do not waste your attempts unnecessarily, one. And second is, if you are increasing the attempts also completely fine because there are close friends of mine in IAS who cracked the exam in sixth attempt and fifth attempt. Yeah. And uh, recently a topper has interacted here and uh, she was of fifth attempt, but still secured a very good rank. She's very close to me and she has been experiencing, you know, she uh, has her cycle of the examinations, you know, she was improving every bit in the each attempt. So, so I tell key, you know, attempts really, they don't matter in UPSC because she got a very good rank being a fifth attempt also, right? So it doesn't matter. The, the only thing is the perseverance, the, you know, the commitment towards the exam, then understanding the pattern of the exam is very important. The, the better, so the faster you get that, the better you are. That's all. Yeah. That's the only thing. I mean, it's, it's good that you brought it because my next question was about that. So what my point is you cracked in your maiden attempt, right? Like this was, yes, yeah. Like, tell me, like, you know, like every year there are these aspirants who just like get the pattern. I don't know how, right? They just yeah. like, like, how does that happen? Like, how, like, think about an aspirant sitting in some place right now, right? Thinking, ki, you know, what is it that I'm not able to get that people in the first attempt get it? Is it coming naturally to them? Was there a support system? Like, can you unpack there? Like, what was, just go back, take us back in time and then, you know, like, first month of preparation what was going on there like how did you like you know yeah uh sir my uh, thoughts towards civil services uh came in my third year but i did not prepare for the exam per se this is third year of your mbbs of my mbbs yes third year of my mbbs that is in around 2019 or 2018 somewhere somewhere around that i thought you know, okay yes if i'm going for civil services this is the best thing that i can do when compared to going for md or ms uh, that is what I thought. And though, so then I opened the syllabus and I saw the syllabus. Ki, okay, fine. Uh, ancient India, I have learned. Uh, okay, medieval India, modern India, oh, geography. Okay. So some terms, uh, I could definitely relate to them because I had a very solid foundation in my school. So I, I come from Vishwabharati Gudivada, which has a very strong background of uh, both IIT foundation and biology, including uh, language, including everything. Okay. So then I thought, ki, yes, fine. When I had a very solid foundation, I did not work too much on this. And when I came to my house agency and in the internship, it was not possible because the duties were very hectic and I couldn't study. After completion of my internship, I worked for some time in COVID-19. And then uh, during the Russia-Ukraine war, I started my preparation 2022. The first month of preparation was, you know, uh, sir, in, but, but uh, let me tell you, uh, I don't want to bluff in, uh, anything here. In those 2019 to 2022, okay, barring some months of uh, preparation where I was preparing for my uh, uh, the final year exams or maybe the final exams or the internals per se or maybe some other uh, culturals, etc. I used to watch lots and lots of topper stocks okay. in the initial year. Lots and lots of topper stocks. Like I could have watched around 200 topper stocks. Because for example, let us consider sir, from 2015, uh, Tina Dabi Mams batch, huh? From that batch onwards, let us take around maybe 30 or 40 videos on the YouTube for, for each batch regarding when each topper comes. So around have you 40 started in... the preparation then when you're watching the topper stock? Have no, you I started... did not start the preparation. So this is just like you're consuming, you're developing interest or something. Okay. Yes, yes. I wanted to see what is the pattern of the exam, how toppers approached, what are their copies, etc. 
so then i maybe maybe that helped me so much ki when i started my preparation i know what to do okay my favorite was uh, atik shukla ma'am because she was also a doctor and i am a doctor so i can relate to her so uh, she has given some shortcuts uh, how to go about the exam initially but um, they might not work now definitely uh, but that was the base for me and i built on that sir that was the first month of preparation started with the mains uh, especially how to write and then sir right from day one of my preparation i started to uh, see topper copies especially the mains topper copies i did not do anything for the first 3 months or 4 months of my preparation i just watched topper copies and then after 3 to 4 months i got to know ki when i when i saw the question i thought ki yes this is my answer and it almost matched with not not points per se but the structure of the answer uh, the, the diagram whatever i uh, intended to draw so that used to match with the topics okay then i thought ki yes i am on the right track let me go that that was the thing which i developed so i think i think somehow so the what you are saying is you had developed this interest by watching these toppers talking about how did they approach the exam right yes that yeah. helped to develop the interest so basically before even starting the re- to read or anything you had this foundationish thing right yes so yes foundation. yes okay like help me understand not whatever every topper says has to be applied directly right it has to be right. you have to change it according to your constraint right Yes. Yes. Like, what are those factors then? Like, let's say Arthika Shukla says, you know, this is what I did. How do you like change it to apply it to your situation? Because I am a guy who has attempted for the fifth time, let's say, and you have like you have done it for the first attempt. There has to be some difference, right? Like, so I'm just want to understand that once because there are a lot of people who, you know, may not they may they already might be listening to a lo- lot of toppers. Trust yes, me. Yes. 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 They yes, are yes, applying definitely. what toppers are saying, but still they might may not be getting the results. So. can you yes. a little bit nuance there like what is it yes yes sir sir uh, as you rightly emphasized definitely i did not uh, replicate anything per se directly uh, from the toppers may be it arthik shukla be it irana be ma'am or be it anyone else to that matter sir i thought ki i thought ki these are my strengths and these are my weaknesses okay so i thought ki first of all i should develop what are my strengths what are my weaknesses with then when i start so that will not know in this initial stage of preparation once we complete once or twice the syllabus then we come to know ki what is the what is your what is your strength and what is your weakness so for prelims or for mains i thought ki definitely i definitely two subjects or three subjects should be my strength and remaining things it's okay fine i it can they can wait so polity polity became my strength economy became my strength and then uh, science and technology became my strength so these three playing playing around these i developed remaining things okay so regarding prelims so i thought ki yes these are my strengths let me improve them if these are my weaknesses let them you know they, they should not be weak at least they should be at, they should be coming to the medium level right for example ancient india for example medieval india for example modern india also i was very poor in modern india initially then by reading spectrum multiple times i uh, made that you know modern india became one of my strengths you know last maybe in the may or june june first june second it became my strength uh, so and also a strategy was being applied at the last one month of preparation especially regarding to prelims so i kept on changing my strategy based upon my strengths and my weaknesses and also the situation also sir great. so okay. i think this is very unique to each person also yeah great awesome yeah that brings me to like you said right ki you know you started modern india wasn't my strength but i was on it honest enough to accept it eventually near prelims i was able to command it and you know kind of right yeah. what okay my question is like and this is what a lot of people have right like six months are left for exam for the need for five months almost right now here is a question right like a lot of people may have started their preparation in june this year yes yeah right so almost like one year ka this thing right of course a lot of people might be attempting for twice thrice fourth time right so here is the question the way i prepare from june to december is kind of different a lot of people might focus on mains preparation and you know kind of answer right from here the gear has to change towards prelims am i correct am i making sense right okay cool yeah. now the thing is your fundamentals your basics foundation of the preparation are kind of has to be established by now yes right? okay great how do i transition from this basic foundation to some advanced level now how do i evolve my preparation because certainly you did because you are saying you know like i recognize my strength then i started working my weaknesses and then evolved it. so how does that happen like how do i do how should i look my test attempt strategy 
how yeah. how do i think about my daily schedule how do i think about my revision you know once i get yes. that how do i come back and analyze my tests right? and it would be extremely beneficial if you can give your own example like you know like how did you do it exactly so correct correct sir yeah yeah uh, sir uh, i improved upon uh, the previous foundation which i had based upon tests only for example but i did not give multiple tests or many tests like people take a, you people tell ki you know if you give 100 tests you will clear prelims it's not like that and see solving for especially so let us talk about more of prelims because we are transition we are yeah. in the transition phase to prelims and if some people really find difficult in means do practice for maybe around two weeks from now uh be not like until the end of december uh, maybe at the end of december 25th or 26th uh, until the christmas time and then again take some two or three days for the transition into prelims have a strategy and then attack from january first so they do it uh so already you have around five months of uh, prelims time let us see how it goes so see preparation for prelims involves two things especially one is the test the how do you attempt for the test like the main test how do you prepare for the mains uh, the prelims exam and how do you attempt how do you utilize this time for the five months these are the two things that you have to concentrate upon so one is mastering your foundation thing for example ncrts you should master them definitely because if you see 2023 exam majority of the questions are from ncrts yes so that is why you have to master the topics how do i master sir <clears throat> so so how do you know that you mastered polity if you yeah. master ncrts and if you master lakshmika you have mastered polity assume even if some question comes beyond that if you are not getting even after mastering lakshmikanth even if you are mastering about ncrts no one will get it okay the same yes. for everyone like everyone will get it wrong yes now. yes and you read old ncrt of uh, uh, the history ancient india and you read new ncrt of history india and then you read some tamil nadu ncrts and you consulted the material and even if you are missing out on some exam some some question it is not your fault and you cannot complete. For example, I followed the PMF IS ka environment. So how do I master environment? You master PMF IS, you master environment. Bus. So you ma see master in the sense that if you need not know from A to Z, majority of the topics, important topics. So the topics on heat, maybe current affairs. If you are mastering them, it means that you are good at something. Right? This is one. And second is solving tests. How do you solve tests? What I used to do was, for example, uh, let me take, I was very good at polity from Lakshmi Kant and NCRTs and uh, NCRTs. I did not read too much because I have read only once or twice because many questions are coming from Lakshmi Kant. So I ignored it. Okay. But, but this is not going to happen for you. Uh, you have to master NCRTs also. So what I did was I took some vision ka booklet and generally everyone does. So I also downloaded that and, and wrote the exam. I got around 180, uh, in polity, some of the sectional tests. Then I thought, ki, yes, polity is my strength. So I need to waste time in solving polity. Yes. Okay. These yes, are yes, sectional yes. tests. Sectional tests in polity, which comprises of the president, vice president, executive, okay. and judiciary, okay. all these things. Okay. Then I thought, ki, yes, see, the thing is, if I'm mastering someone, something and also I'm getting around nine out of 10 questions correct in every exam, why should I again write the exam? Hmm. So now, but it did not stop me, you know, uh, revising polity. So a uh, polity was always there in my schedule, but I did not practice questions on polity because it became my strength. Whenever I see polity, I used to practice only pre previous year's questions. That's all. Not any institute wala questions. But at the same time, when I wrote modern India sectional tests of vision, I got only, only around 70s. Then I got, yes, modern India is my weakness. So how do I improve modern India? So when there is a schedule of modern India, the only book which I refer to is Spectrum. So I'll keep Spectrum here. I'll keep some five or six institutes. Ka, they are available online, right? So you can take a number of institutes and solve around 500 questions. Yeah. So then, so my first score was around 70 and then, then second exam was around 60s and then improved to 80. And then, you know, even though my score is not touching 100, I got to know which are the important areas in modern India. Okay. Now, majority of the questions are going wrong in the sequence, the sequence of events. So maybe the tribal revolts. Uh, maybe who is the governor general. So I'm missing on these questions. Then I thought, ki, yes, this is my weak point in modern India. Yeah. Then I opened spectrum. Then what I did, what I did, you know, for example, let us take uh, the advent of the Europeans, uh, the first chapter, right? So advent of the Europeans, I made a small notes. For example, the first is French, let us consider. Then the spectrum book I used to keep, I used to read spectrum. Then 
ए फोर शीट ले लो और यू कीप दिस यू नो राइट राइट एवरीथिंग दैट यू रीड फॉर एग्जाम्पल यू आर रीडिंग स्मॉल स्मॉल वर्ड्स ओके सम सम थॉमस बेस्ट हैज कम ऑन सो आई यूज टू फिल नो गिव ए ब्लैंक देयर इन द ईयर मे बी द टाइम ऑफ द रूलर आई यूज टू जस्ट गिव ए ब्लैंक एंड जस्ट रीड वेन आई रिवाइज मॉडर्न इंडिया नेक्स्ट टाइम आई यूज टू सी दैट नोट्स एंड जस्ट यू नो रिवाइज दैट in the mind ki yes is this is the fill in the blank what is this what is this year some 1861 or the rule is jahangir or maybe the rule is saman so then you know i practiced this multiple times that it got ingrained in me the modern india so this is how so this doesn't happen in one month you know yeah. what uh, my strategy was you know say this, this is this, let us come to the strategy in the next the next thing this is how we have to revise the syllabus multiple times and you have to uh, make your strengths are you know in topmost and the weaknesses should be in the medium level at least at least minimum so at least you should get some half of the questions correct or maybe if you are leaving some other five to 10 questions in the in the subjects of your weakness it's completely fine you are going to clear the cutoff this is one so second is how do you approach the exam per se like you know so you have completed the syllabus so how so you are practicing it and the previous year's questions become very very important very 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 important we'll take a session on previous year's questions and analysis just when we go through the prelims journey maybe after uh, maybe in the last of december or maybe january we'll start doing previous year's questions also sir uh, so i think this should be the main thing how do you want to go approach and also last one one and a half month is a very very crucial for this exam right for example let us see so you have two memories with you right long term memory and short term memory right so long term memory may you can have your strengths like polity i could not forget them easily economy because of concepts geography uh, some concepts in geography that we cannot forget them right it's a very scientific and we can easily understand them but the history part some of the some of the geographical part like climate climatic regions especially that uh, needs to revise you know just before the exam right so what i did was so fourth or fifth was june fifth was my exam i thought ki fourth should be the modern india last third should be modern india second should be modern india first should be modern, uh, the medieval india and then before ancient india so ancient india modern india and medieval uh, the modern <coughs> medieval indian modern india i used to read and then you know i read and went for the exam why because i employed my short term memory you cannot you cannot easily forget you know just so the one you are very highly probable to forget obviously you know, just before the exam that subject was just before the exam before the exam so oh. these type of techniques that you can use yeah, which is like very fundamental thing to do and so i'm sure like lot of people right okay. yes and the lens that okay this is interesting right the lens you have used is okay i'm good at polity okay i'm going to att- attempt the sectional test right and because i'm scoring good in those sectional test almost like 180 out of 200 types yes. right yeah yeah i am the next thing i'm going to do in polity is just going to attempt pyq okay i'm not going to give that much of you know i'm already good at it but in yeah. modern india i'm not good right in uh, in history i'm not good modern history right so what i'm going to do is attempt these test i'm getting 70 80 90 only right uh, and i'm going to identify what kind of questions i'm getting wrong is mostly chronology factual questions i'm going to make notes of those and i'm going to revise them just before this is extremely fundamental strategy right like but the problem with fundamental small simple strategy is very less people believe in it and they do it right and <laughs> in your case you just stuck to the basics and you believed in it like you know that's all i have to do the thing that's that right. i can just keep you know get betting because in general like a lot of aspirants out of fear or something they keep looking for some hack or you know a lot of these things but good that you call it out right like good that you said it right um okay i mean one and one thing that i want to generally like this is i i talk to a lot of people and the thing is we, we prepare for one year right quickly if you can tell me like what is the mindset that has to happen during these test mock test and during the actual day of exam because that matters a lot i'm i'm assuming right like tell me like the day you entered your prelims hall or the the mindset that you go used to go to attempt these mock test also tell us like about after you have attempted the mock test what is what do you do like do you go back to, you know like check these yes yes sir yeah it's so actually very interesting question and it was it i think you know test series are very much hyped in the upsc exam sir that is what i feel uh, you know every test paper that i have attempted is for the knowledge nothing strategy in because no strategy from uh, the mock sorry, test paper sorry, when you say it is for the knowledge like like it is not improving me towards the example like what it's like a feel good thing but it doesn't improve me 
towards my exam like what what does it yeah yeah yes sir uh, let me be very clear in this sir for example let us take i'm doing some modern india right i don't eliminate i don't do any stuff there okay i don't go for uh, whatever the stupid elimination strategies that people teach generally uh, they don't really work uh, sometimes i don't see they work in the final paper yeah they don't work in the mock test series they don't work even if they are working they don't work in final paper yeah right so if i am not knowing anyway, some question predict, like which you anyway can't predict like you know obviously yes yeah mains you can predict but prelims it's very highly unlikely that you can gonna predict it exactly so what i used to do was one question how much knowledge it is improving for me that's all and the way of the uh, way of eliminations way of logical guessing they are completely done on the final uh, the the, uh, the simulation were done on the final papers right from 1970s or 19 uh, maybe 2011 2013 say like pura paper kar liya aur maybe if you take from 1970s we have that book called as nunal uh, he is an author of some disha publications wala book right uh, the previous years compilation and there are some other 16 in the market also yeah yeah so that's a very good book that's the resource that you really need for this exam <laughs> yeah. yeah so while attempting the mock test i thought ki just this is the knowledge that i should have this question i don't know how to increase but having said that there are very stupid questions in some of the test series which i can see which are not all useful for any exams or does it matter in the life so you can happily ignore those questions and just move forward sir <laughs> that is what i used to do like tell me about like you know are you saying like i'm sh- I'm, as- i'm sure like you would have scored low marks also in beginning of operation sir sir your uh, sorry sir your voice not, your voice is uh, uh, broken and also you yeah. you you okay so i'll repeat i'll repeat Start. i hope yes now you is it fine now yeah now it is fine yes okay my question was like in your starting phase of your journey you might have you i'm assuming like you would have scored like you know low marks also in your test series you know right how do you de- does it not affect you de- it didn't affect you like i'm getting like i don't know like 50 out of 260 it's not improving test after test are you saying the test are only for knowledge don't judge yourself based on what happens like what is like how do i like look at it sir i did not write any full length test mock test sir i did not write why not because for prelims, it's for mains also like same no 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 mains is completely a different ball game together so we are uh, sticking to prelims whatever like yeah we are sticking to yeah we are sticking to prelims so my thing my thing was you know the question is for knowledge that's all the paper 100 questions 100 points of knowledge bas okay. that's all no strategies employed no marks were counted nothing else nothing but i have written one full length test that close to the exam which was of different institute which was thought to be on the easier side i got around maybe 110 or 1 112 on that side so that was close to me because you know had i been taking more risk on that day i got yeah. i used to mean i would have got more but i did not take that three or four questions wala risk so but i was landed in around 100 uh, 100 plus so i think my strategy worked out really well on that day sir might be but so i advise aspirants ki based upon this pattern of 2023 do not go for elimination methods right now right now but you can concentrate on them after march or maybe after february after okay. you do one cycle of revision then you can concentrate on them yeah okay. cool we'll move to another segment now like you know daily scheduling time table for next 5 months looking back at your <laughs> preparation like how was your daily routine were you very disciplined about it you know did you slack off from what you decided aaj itna decide kiya but you know you couldn't complete it how do you deal with it you know those kind of questions will ask so starting from see i think time table is just what you do but daily life is like you know will i be able to stick to it am i able to do it or not like you know like you need to have some kind of rigorous discipline to stick to the time table otherwise time table is just like ha bana liya but you know like i'm not able to follow it so looking well was there a daily routine you had like how was it like you know? <laughs> not at all sir not at all i am completely against to this uh, time how did it sir. work for you like when you come back to your desk like how what was it like how did you plan ki you know tomorrow what i have to study or something like that sir i did not plan per se sir why because uh, i used to have a broad plan so in these 15 days i have to complete some geography and polity let us say uh, so maybe two year two hours i read a day or maybe 10 hours i read a day i will complete at any cost i'll complete those 15 20 days wala subject 
after 15 days it will be done but how i used to read i don't know sir because uh, there are uh, days where i binge watched uh, netflix series also where uh, even in february even in march also to that matter but i don't advise people to do that you know don't yeah. you know, that is why don't replicate don't imitate people so go with your standards go with your mindset because i am not the person who is having lot of consistency but yeah. i am very consistent in my inconsistency sir uh, so i used to tell uh, <laughs> many many in, in many interviews also the same dialogue uh, but but it should be based upon your unique personality that is what i feel okay but like at the end of the day you had some hard deadline like by this month i should be doing this was it like something yes like yes 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 definitely but you sir uh, before you... before before just moving towards the other things i just want to tell one thing sir do not hype uh, for all the aspirants present here do not hype about upsc you know this is a normal exam uh, you you. you can now say ki you can sir already you have cleared so you can say anything so i am not saying that okay i consider this this upsc as a board exam you have a proper syllabus Where syllabus is more, time is one year. You have to properly plan accordingly, according to your mindset, and go write the exam as as if it is a board exam. Bus, that's all. Do not take pressure. Do not hype about UPSC. Do not hype the toppers, especially. You know that is why you get pressure. Yeah, because eventually that pressure works against you. Obviously. Yes. Yes. And you don't yes. want that. You don't <laughs> Correct. Want that. Uh, yes. I want to like Pavan. I want to like. Okay, imagine that you. you haven't cleared you're not an ias right now okay you are just a normal aspirant you you have to attempt in 2024 that's clear and you have some understanding of syllabus you have you have read liya sab kar liya right from yeah. here what will you do what's what what is what 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 will you be doing right now if you had yeah. 2024 yes like, sir uh, so you tell 300 people here like whoever on this yes yes, yes know, sir. what uh, this so is what i'll be doing yeah what i would be doing is sir See, uh, I'll have a long-term strategy. Ki if I clear prelims, it is of no use if I'm not preparing for mains. So I'll check. Ki so I have already the buffer of around fifteen twenty days now, until December. So what I would do is this fifteen twenty days. Whether so I'll see. I'll open the syllabus once again, the main syllabus. I'll see. For example, I'll ignore some topics like ethics because I know that ethics can be done after uh, after okay. prelims also. If you sit for ten to fifteen days, ethics will be done. Okay, sorry, and then. i'll see the gs paper one i can i can ignore the world history right now society part can be ignored right or maybe 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 the other things like post independence in last one or two questions in prelims also but that can be ignored a, a bit and i'll see all the prelims syllabus in the mains whether i have covered or not yes if i'm covering if i am knowing how to write answers but i'll continue doing uh, this the the seeing of topus copies until january to get that to get that mindset but i won't leave my optional because optional is breakage or you know make it in this uh, upsc rank that you get uh, so upsc uh, upsc may there are two two very important paper there are two, one is optional paper and one is essay paper not even ethics also ethics also now people are performing better so these two papers are very important so even if you are if you, even if i am not very good at essay i will write some one or two essays in these uh, uh, 20 days or 20 when days you say like when you say important you means this is where you get edge like this is where you can yes okay make yes. like you know from 100 rank to 300 rank to like under 100 rank you can do this yes yes uh, even if i am not enrolled in any test series i would take uh, previous years papers maybe 2023 2022 wala essay papers and write two or three and get evaluated by some expert or some other mentor that we have that we generally have that i will definitely do and then optional i'll continue until march daily one or two hours of optional and because csat is becoming so harder uh, these days 2023 may is bahut uh, hard tha so i would definitely uh, concentrate two hours or one hour on csat one and a half hour csat definitely and then remaining is all about gs paper 1 uh, of prelims i'll concentrate on how to go about it what are the strategies that need to be employed uh, how what are my strengths so i'll increase my strength i'll ignore my uh, weaknesses to some extent ki you know uh, these topics can be ignored and then i'll make it uh, some topics like for example i i'm uh, let us consider i'm very poor in science and technology i'll improve science and technology based upon exam so how to attempt those questions in the exam how to improve the knowledge with limited time available i'll make it some medium level that's all i'll do for the basic and i'll write the test as usual because for example tomorrow if i am writing a modern india test if i am not performing i'll read modern india again i'll write a test again in between to see if my knowledge level has been increased do not employ strategies and from february end or maybe from the march uh, i'll go through the like proper exam oriented preparation how to eliminate options how to do this how to do that why this option is given in upsc why not that option 
what are the previous years analysis so i'll do after march so that is a march april may so these three months will be exclusive exam oriented preparation rather than improving my knowledge it yeah. will be complemented to it yeah i'm curious to know like what did you do in last 10 days of like you know prelims like what was your mindset like what so did you sleep one night before like what was happening yeah yeah sir uh, because i've been so all normal <laughs> Chill, chill. Very, very chill. Before, before that night, before prelims, I booked ticket to major movie. Uh, on prelims, the <laughs> major movie was released on the same day of our prelims. Okay. So I think so. Just maybe in the Friday. Uh, it is on Sunday, right? So Friday, I think it hasn't released. So I booked the ticket. Uh, <laughs> after writing C set, I rushed towards the theater to watch the movie. Uh, so it was, it was I kind of chill. You, I think you had a lot of like control over your nerves. Like you know, like you're not losing it. I mean, that in general, right? Like, uh, is there like a way like people can do it? Because a lot of people like kind of, you know, a lot of people work hard, but they lose on this thing. And that's why I keep coming back to what is the mindset throughout this preparation on the day of exam, right? Does that make a difference? Like, what, how do you see? Yes, sir. Sir, mindset plays a very important role, sir. See, what, what happened uh, to me was, so it was a set D and the first thing I think was economy or history. I don't, I don't exactly remember. But uh, UPSC gives you a caution key, just check the booklet once, right? So check the booklet once. So when I started checking the booklet for all the pages, whether, whether they are available or not, so that's that's on our responsibility, right? It's on our onus to check and to submit if some discrepancy is there. So I, when I when I checked, you know, I saw an environment question there, oh. which I know, you know, the first option was the answer. I know it. So I thought, okay, fine, uh, I know this. So I just mark it. I just marked it in the OMR sheet. And then, you know, then I saw next environmental question. I thought Ki, your environment, environment is a bit easier now. Let me solve environment first. So when I solved in first 10 minutes, I solved 15 questions, 16 questions. Then, then next strength is polity for me. I went to polity section. Polity section was easy. So I solved polity within 10 minutes. Again, I uh, solved around total, maybe in the first 20 minutes, I solved over 30 questions, 30, 35 questions were solved perfectly, like picture perfect. Then obviously my confidence got increased. So I already solved 30 questions perfectly. 30 into 60 marks are there. Yeah. So I have to get another 60 marks at the max. Right? So 60 yeah, marks. That's the only fight only... left now. That's the only obviously, fight. That's the thing. So I haven't said I did my paper. So that settled my uh, nerves yeah. initially. Sir. That's kind of a luck. So this yeah. is what luck is all about. Yeah, save that. Save the luck part. I'm going to come back to the luck part. <laughs> right. yes, yes, yes. Okay. Yes. I think we should talk about, you know, the UPSC trend thing, right? Okay. You have been a firm believer of PYQ and I talked to so many rankers. It just keeps coming back. PYQ, 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 right? What the hell? Like, what? Like, what do we do? Imagine I have no idea. I have no idea what is PYQ. How do I look? I have this booklet. Of 16, 20, 25 years of two. First of all, please make it clear how many years should I go back? Sir, follow strictly follow the Disha book or maybe the, the publication. So, like how many years? Day. Like how many years of PYQ? I don't know from which year uh, it is there, but I think it is from 1970s, 1979. So like, so, like 25 ish kind of you're saying. 25, 30 years is must. Okay, yeah. done. This is prelims. I have 25 years of PYQ now. Great. Yeah. What do I do? Because, yeah. first of all, current affairs, though. They're not relevant, am I correct? Because did you also do the current affairs for BYQ? Like those yes, questions? yes, sir. I just solved key just to get into the mindset of the examiner. For example, option A, why so this current affair, why the answer is option A, why he has given option A, whether that, that examiner uh you know he, whether he's asking he or she asking us not to look at the remaining options. Why is he giving option uh, as a or maybe one and two one and three why is I'm it sorry. for I'm sorry. that analysis yeah. i'm sorry i have to cut you off what i'm asking is i have this book yeah okay. yeah okay first time i understand everyone is telling me pyq yes but i really trying to understand i solve these questions i understand okay this is species came in this question how did you approach like okay why was the question asked why are these options given to me which yes. one is correct? like what happens what how did you approach like can you just give us like some time sure sure sir definitely i'll elaborate with a good example so once i have seen some uh, maybe question on um, some there is some park in rajasthan right some great indian busted right so that was the question maybe uh, down the line around two or three years ago the question was there for example let us take some when i see that question on the paper uh, in the booklet uh, the 25 years book which I purchased, I see ki 
great indian bastard right that is a question so the great indian bastard was in new some great indian bastard festival was there or maybe the iucn status must have changed so that is why the question has been asked i look at the rajasthan national park or whatever it is then second is the other option third is the other national park fourth is the other national park okay. so i would definitely do okay how do you analyze indian uh, the question now i'll type great indian bastard in wikipedia i'll read about the great indian bastard let it take around 10 minutes of time to read wikipedia page but some somewhere in my memory that get that gets ingrained right about the great indian bastard now i'll open the national park the answer maybe the rajasthan national park or whatever it is mm-hmm. i'll read about the national park and the remaining three options also i i'll read about them you can see sir definitely i'll tell you some of the national parks or maybe some of the animals which are very peculiar to these national parks will be asked next year or maybe down the line two or three years afterwards this is so common this is so common because what you are saying yes. basically basically you are saying yes read the species but also google the previous year questions because whatever the extra information or dimensions that you will get yeah. may be asked in the subsequent years of exam this yes. is so common. like a lot of people say this i have like you know this has become a very common thing now right yes so like, yes like even our notes at flash notes at cd it's like you know there are other dimensions that we cover from the pyqs right so yeah i've seen that sir it is very good actually were you did you like what how did you do it like you were making notes or something out of this wikipedia like what what no sir what no no i just used to read that's all oh okay. either you're like crazy like your memory is like you know like no 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 my i am very very bad at my memory techniques sir but still how like should i make notes like what should i do for this yeah, because a yeah. lot of pyqs right like sir uh, if you start making notes for everything that you read on wikipedia you can be a author of another book uh, maybe you can 100% that's another. why the question that's why the question i'm asking what should yeah. i do yeah yeah so what i trusted ki you know this will be going into my brain okay. definitely so i because uh, because i'm a doctor i know what processes work in brain so i somehow trusted my subconscious brain we are, we are definitely option. doing we are definitely doing a session on you know like how to improve memory or something like we should do <laughs> yes yes so i thought i trusted my subconscious memory sir that's all see when you see some options when you see some papers you get intuition ki i have read it somewhere this might be the option this might be the, that intuition definitely works in upsc i have seen in multiple questions that's all you cannot just make you know make notes for everything in upsc it's not not yeah, like probabilistically not probabilistically you know somewhere i have read it this must be the you know yes yes, yes. Like, probabilistically that you know even if it's not a fading memory you know yes exactly exactly to take that risk there right yeah uh, cool uh, anything else that i missed asking you on pyq like you want to add like anything no uh, sir regarding pyqs we will do a special session on pyqs so yeah. i'll keep that book maybe if there is a soft copy someone can share uh, with me uh some of the previous years questions uh, let us let us definitely keep that previous years questions let us record it perfectly uh, ah, yeah. that yeah, to be better yeah. we'll do it cool yeah. the last session and then we'll open for q and a after this because i'm i'm sure like there are 300 people here aspirants very serious aspirants and they must have learned yeah. yeah, we'll we'll try to i want to ask about two things one okay let's start with your support system was the fight alone how do, what do you want to tell about the people around you during your preparation of one year like what is their support who, uh, who were you talking to family any other person anyone like if you uh, take your marks etc like is what is the importance of support system during like you know like this one year especially i mean fortunately you didn't go through multiple attempts for you it was just like one shot done you know but yeah. tell me about like you know those things because i think those are as real as it gets right like yes sir it's part of the any anyone's preparation journey like you know like how do i not give up kind of a thing so tell me like support system failure any lesson that you can share with all of us like how do you deal with it uh sir my support system is obviously my brother uh, my mother and my father definitely uh so uh, <laughs> sometimes you know before prelims i used to sleep a lot so my mother used to come from school because she was having morning school so she used to come she she was terrified i'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. your mother is is a teacher in government school i think right yes. Yes, is yes. she the one who inspired you to like chase civil service like am i correct <laughs> yes sir yes sir she is the one yeah okay. and she has been the inspiration for me so sir uh, that is what you know i i used to sleep in afternoon for for 3 hours sometimes you know my mother used to come and she was terrified sometimes 
and you are sleeping, the prince is approaching in 15, 20 days, what are you doing? I told him, it will be done. See, what do you want? You want me to qualify prelims. I will do. Do not ask until then. So, uh, sometimes even though, you know, my father and my uh, mother, they used to get some anxiety because of me, because of my preparation style. Uh, my they were, they were to... more anxious than their parents. Your father worked <laughs> in LIC, if I'm correct. He was also. Uh, sir, my yeah, my father works at LIC. So and your brother, also... your, you have a younger brother who is a software engineer. Like this is yeah, he's a software engineer. So, he used to have a lot of trust in me. And is he, he also going like... for, is he also going for civil service? Uh, sir, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. So, he, now presently he's working. I don't know what his future plans are. I think uh, he must go. That is what I advise him, but I don't know. Because uh, he's into a lot of technology and all that stuff. So, he's not at all concentrating on government and Sarkari Wala. One IS, one IS is enough in the family. Yes, yes, yes. One civil service is enough in the family, sir. <laughs> you, you, are, you are telling about your support system, sorry. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So obviously, sir, see someone you have to read. I had zero friends. So I got off all the friends. Uh, I used to not uh, talk to anyone to that matter. So people who are in preparation only like one or two or my friends. So I used to discuss yeah. strategy. So this is my prelim. So so I had a friend called as a uh, named Abhinav. Uh, so from IT Bombay. So I used to talk to him. We used to discuss something. So this should be the strategy. This should be the elimination technique for this question. Why it has been given as one, why it has been given as one or three. So he was the only friend I used to talk during prelims. I never talked to anyone because it distracts. I feel it distracts me. Uh, uh, I can I can happily get distracted with happy distraction with uh, Stranger Things web series rather than getting dis distracted negatively with some other things. Yeah. So my support system is my family, sir, obviously. And my grandfather also he used to talk to me multiple times. Like, you know, go ahead. So I have to see you as uh, Babu, the, the great Babu that we call. Yeah. So, yeah. So this uh, support system is definitely very important. Sir. Yeah. Any like in hindsight, because now with the benefit of hindsight, any hard lessons that, you know, you have learned during the preparation, like I know you haven't gone through <laughs> in multiple attempts, but a lot of people, you know, they realize the, you know, like a lot of times people realize what is actually needed in exam after they have gone through two, three attempts. Yeah. That, I think that is a very high cost to pay. Right. Correct, and correct. Now, now, because we have people like you who could just get it in their first attempt, right? There are always people every year. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Can you tell me like, okay, like what are those lessons, right? Like, you know, like this is what I got, got right, guys. Like, you know, this is what people don't get right. Like One what is, is uh, definitely sir, don't get into new relationships. Or maybe exit out that's, of uh, that's, that's exit, totally unexpected one. Exit old relationships and concentrate on your career because people will leave you if you're not settled in the exam. Like majority of the times, ninety nine percent I've seen things. Ke, you know, uh, people will leave you if you're not settled in your life. So do not get into relationships and do not complicate your life unnecessarily. That is what, sir. I personally feel ki this is the ma this is the major reason that people fail in this exam. You know, really? talking talking to talking to uh, uh, you know girlfriends or boyfriends continuously over phones over night late, late night calls see it I is mean, not it wrong to have a relationship as long as like it doesn't affect your preparation like but yes. if it does then you know you're saying ki, don't do it like no chance don't no, do not do not do that do not take that chance uh, not worth it man not at all worth it <laughs> yeah anything any other hard learned lesson that it reminds like someone should uh, so this is one, and this is with regard to the exam also. So yeah. I have multiple, pe multiple people referring multiple sources. Uh, I have stuck yeah. only to spectrum modern India. Yeah. Yeah, spectrum I, I have modern wanted India. to ask you, but then see, I mean, enough number of talkers have told about their source. So let me ask you the, let me invert the question. Is yeah. there something that you used referred that is out of the ordinary? Like, you know, what, like, what no mm -hmm. matter was nothing, 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 nothing. NCRT, basic standard books. Bus like that, right? So that's why, like, yeah, might be my sources were different. For example, for economy, I have referred to Vivek Singh sir's book. I might not have followed uh, Munal sir, but yes, he's also one of the standard uh, that is evolving in the market. So I love the book. I love the uh, Telegram channel that he has. So I strictly followed that. That's all. That's all. So no out of no unconventional resources that I've used. No, correct. Okay. I mean, I just want to double down on that, that, that question, right? Think of an aspirant. There are like thousands of YouTube channels. There are like zillion telegram group, free material, do this, download that, do that, you know, this paper, that paper. I am an aspirant. What do I do? Like, how do I like cut this noise, dude? Like, 
you how how did you do it let me ask that because pro, you're not like you know 90 90 stopper you're just like 12 month old right into yes, yes. yeah understand okay like what with the benefit of hindsight just tell tell everyone you know how, like there are zillion things so how do i cut off and just stay how am i going to get the confidence that whatever i am reading is the right thing how do i tell right. because i am always going to be in this fomo oh new test series oh new thing like what like you know you get the question right like how do i stay got it got it sir i got it i got it yeah so the only see uh, the start of this uh, session also i mentioned one thing for example when you when see for example let us take polity lakshmika yes so if you are mastering polity that means you are mastering lakshmika bas you are not reading dd bas you are not reading bear act or you are not reading any other books where examiner might dwell into and form a question for you but that is not your job your job is to read lakshmikant and go for the exam if you are mastering lakshmikant if you are getting good marks in the test series or maybe whatever it is if you are evaluating on that basis uh, uh, with regard to the questions from lakshmikant you are safe you must have confidence ki yes i am going good in this direction right yeah. this is the only strategy i have uh, I, i have employed sir for example pmf is i did for environment so when i attempted for environment i see that when whether i am doing questions right from the pmf ias book and the questions which i have repeated or maybe the sources from pmf ias book right so when you complete when for example during revision when you are completing old ncrt uh, the rakesh sharma book and you are attempting the questions and you are getting good marks in this or maybe if you are if your knowledge level has been increased based upon that you are doing good in history old ncrt uh, the the ancient ncrt um, the ancient india whatever it is Right, this is the confidence that you have to get. There will be n number of questions out of some that examiner may dwell into and form the question, and that is not your problem. Yeah, that's right? like that's out of your control. You don't worry about that. Yes. That is everyone's problem. Yeah, if you are if you are very serious, yeah, as right. point, if you are following the books diligently, if the question comes out of out of nowhere, that is you cannot do anything, na. That's all. I mean, it's probably same for everyone, right? Like no one will get it right, so there's no competition there. Correct, sir. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, what you are trying to say, and then we'll move to you know Q and A and all. Uh, I mean, you're saying no matter what. See, this is what I, you know, this is what I'm trying to understand. Like, no matter what comes, whatever bhaiya didi comes with new YouTube YouTube channel, whatever Telegram group comes. I mean, the fundamental of exam preparation has not changed ever. Right? Nothing. No, nothing. Nothing. Yes. Right. Like it's, it's like you know that is why they are called fundamentals. Like that's not gonna change. You yes, will. Yes, that's gonna change. yeah like or you can get distracted by oh this thing that thing but you know the people who are sticking to the fundamental are the ones you know exactly yeah, the exam and i think if i extend that same thing to anything in life i mean that's what is that's what works right yeah uh, i mean i'll go uh, i mean we kind of you know i just want like this is this is the question i personally also wanted to ask let's talk about luck right <laughs> yeah Well, like there's no question there. I just want to put that topic out there. Like, what do you see? Like, how does it? Um, you know, sir, uh, it has multiple dimensions to be discussed in whatever the luck is. You know, so what I consider uh, the luck is all about is when you get a question that you are perfect with, or maybe you have read something and same thing appears in the exam. That is called as luck one. Second is when you keep an option, considering it might be the answer and it becomes correct. It is yeah. luck. so that happens in prelims and how do you get it i believe in god so i prayed god uh, so god please give me you know the intuition to be correct the answer the answer should be correct so so i prayed god so maybe that has helped me i don't know so that is one and regarding mains uh, mains is a subjective exam and you don't know what is the mindset of the examiner while correcting the paper if his mindset is very nice that is your luck right and then also i prayed god ki please be in him while correcting uh, please be in that examiner uh, so while he is correcting or she is correcting my paper so i think that is the luck part that we generally discuss about so there is nothing called as something you know based upon the luck that you get maybe some here and there four or five questions that you just mark it for the marking sake and you get it correct that no one can eliminate no can no one can give you yeah yeah great okay cool i just have to like will quickly move to q and a right before sure, that sure. i mean i just want to tell everyone here because i of like every week i talk to toppers rankers a lot of right 
I mean, a lot of toppers that this is my learning also, right? Like they have built their foundation either consciously when they were starting the preparation, as in your case, you were listening to a lot of people who have already done it. So yes, when yes. you started your preparation first three months, you consciously built that foundation, right? Yes. Or it's like a lot of toppers did not build that com foundation initial phase of preparation very purposefully consciously but they course corrected very early very yes. early right yes now yes. there are ma like massive number of aspirants who 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 look if if you're not building your foundation of preparation very consciously of course like that's wrong right so massive number of aspirants have no idea what is their base are they do they have a strong base or not eventually they attempt the exam and they're like oh you know my source would be wrong i'm not getting it more often than not, the problem lies in the way you started the preparation, right? Your habits, your daily rituals, how you revise, etc. And you, it's too hard to pinpoint where the problem is, right? And I mean, you can get all the toppers, gyan, you can do all this, but at the end of the day, it's a daily fight. And if you're not up to do that rigorous testing, you, you're not up to put that hours and all those things, right? Like, what's the point, right? I just want to tell all the 300 people here, right? Like, if you're still finding it hard to navigate the daily preparation okay because right now what you see is a snapshot of pawan Dutta's journey yeah. i'm sure he he fought it daily yes for yes him, obviously for yes. him the life was daily thing what you are seeing is the snapshot of like you know this is what happened first month this day is this for you it's as real as daily fight and if any of you are still struggling to navigate your daily preparation okay Civis really exactly does that. So what I'm going to do is like you, if you want to talk to someone like a mentor or someone who, who needs help, please put your phone number and email ID, whatever works for you. Most probably phone number because mentors will reach out to you on the chat and will reach out to you. I'll open it for two, three minutes. And then after that, we move on to q &A. You can drop your chat is open. Now you can put your contact number in the chat and mentors will reach out to you for that. If you're still struggling to navigate your preparation on a daily basis, you have no idea where I'm going, what I'm doing. Here is your thing for the next five months. I'm committing my words. You will be taken care of. And all the insights that we keep talking with power and Amir and a lot of people. Okay. It, I'm taking the responsibility to make sure all that insight you received either over your WhatsApp call email. I mean, I am a CD or anyone like Pawan is not here to like, you know, like, I mean, for him, I mean, in hindsight, if you would have attempt, if, I mean, I'm sure like Pawan, right? Like you would want toppers to tell you, I mean, you started your preparation listening to those people who have done it. Yes, right? yes, yes. So yeah. why will I even want to miss the thing, right? So I'll take the responsibility to translate, tell you everything that toppers have done, right? It, because that is where the, you know, like that's the, how do you say? Like, it's like, you know, horse's mouth. It's like, you know, manikia, like I'm not bullshitting here. So go ahead, folks.